Hi everyone, my name is Katrina and today I'm going to show you how to make a pinwheel bow just like this one using a plastic template. These templates come in a variety of sizes all the way from 2 inch up to 7 and even 8 inches. Today I'm going to use a 4 inch template and I'm also going to use a 1.5 inch grain ribbon but really any size and any type of ribbon is great to make pinwheel bows. I'm also going to need um, paper clips like this or simple hair clips to hold my ribbon on the template. It makes it easy to stitch it. I'm also going to need needle and thread to stitch my bow. Scissors to cut off extra ribbon once it's on the template. And I'm going to need a lighter to um, finish my bow so it doesn't fray. All right, and we're ready to get started. <clears throat> Grab your um, a ribbon and place it on your template. You want to have it a little bit diagonally and then put your clip. Okay, and now your ribbon is not going anywhere. Okay, now we just made a loop. That's what formed the loops. And you can stop at this point and you'll have a half pinwheel bow. Or you can make one more loop. Okay. And you want to have your ribbon pretty tight on the template. Okay. Now we can cut the ribbon we don't need anymore. And put our second clip and we are ready to sew. This is what you want to see in the front and this is how it looks on the back. Okay, so stitching is very important when you make your bows because that what forms creases. So you want to have your stitches um, somewhat uh, even, evenly placed in uh, even um, sizes. Okay, and we're going to start from the top. Okay. Okay, now the next step is very important when making a pinwheel bow. Okay, you're going to want your thread to go over this split that formed when we, uh, you know, rolled our ribbon. Okay, so that's how you want it. You want your thread to be right here in both, both times. Okay. Try to keep uh, your stitches in a straight line. Okay. Right. And you want to finish with your thread on the top as well. All right. Here we go. We're taking our ribbon off of the template now. And we're just gonna carefully pull and start that will start forming our creases so we're gonna go and help them a little bit okay all right now we're gonna roll uh, the thread around a couple times Okay, pull it some more. All right, now we're gonna shape our loops a little bit before we tie it off our thread. Okay, yep, 
looks pretty good. Now we're just gonna do a couple knots on the back. Just like that. And all we got to do is finish our um, our ends. I like to make V cuts, but you do whatever you like. It can be a straight line or a little diagonal line. Like I said, I like V cuts on my bows. And just heat seal it with a lighter so it doesn't fray. have your pinwheel bell. You can shape it a little bit more, get it all straight, but yep, see? You've got a really pretty cute pinwheel bell. Now you can finish at this point and have a single layer pinwheel bow. All you gotta do is attach the clip or barrette on the back of it and using a 3 8 or so quarter inch ribbon you're going to want to hide your thread. You can also grab a smaller template and a smaller ribbon and you can make um, a stacked pinwheel bow like this for example. See? And um, I already have um, the ribbon in the middle here but I haven't picked the finish yet but you can make pinwheel bows just like this and you do the same thing if with 7 8 inch ribbon you just need a um, smaller template and you know a small ribbon but that is how you make the pinwheel bows using the template. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Like this video if it was useful for you, and I will see you next time. Bye!